Hey, hey, Tony Gass here. You know, one of the questions I get a lot about social media and relationships, and um, you know, it one of the things is is to the men is y'all gotta stop playing them games. You know, stop playing them games. Cause to be honest with you, I'm tired of seeing the question from women talking about social media, and I'm getting absolutely tired of it. And to every man out there, it's like, listen, if you want to cheat. If you want to sleep around, then just be single. And that way you just got the answer to God. And then when you get up with that heel, then you'll, you'll look in the mirror and be like, okay, well, all right. Well, such and such made it, so maybe I'll make it. But it's like this right here. Don't, don't, don't be in a situation where you gaslighting this woman by making her feel stupid, making her feel like she insecure because you keep liking booty. You all on Instagram liking all kind of booty and and then telling the woman she insecure when you know what you're doing. Because when you hit that like button, what do that mean? You know that woman finna get a notification. And she finna get a notification. And so now she got eyes on you. She know you watching. And some of y'all hit that like button and then unlike it. Because you know she's still going to get that notification. She might be on there. And if she is a thirst trapper, she got a notification set on her phone. The way it's coming up on that phone. So you know what you're doing. And this is the thing about it. And yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, why you giving away the game? Oh, you giving away the game. Oh, yeah. See, man, this is an old simp. See, that's what I was talking about, the old simp, man. Let me play the game how I want to play the game. Why are you telling her that? It's because it's stupid and it's childish. Because now you got this woman. Now she is feeling insecure. She wasn't insecure before you went to messing with her mind and you liking everything that she not. So this woman over here got this kind of booty. This woman over here got these kind of breath. This woman over here, this complexion, this height, this kind of hair. So you going and like, you following these women, liking these women. It's look the opposite of what your woman look like. And then your woman seeing this. And then she, because now she all of a sudden wondering, why do this woman keep showing up on my Discover page? And it's because she follow you and she liking your pictures. But because you following these women and liking their pictures, or you keep liking their pictures, now they showing up on her algorithm. And that's how this social media stuff works. It's very, very real. Social media is not fake. Social media is real. And they tracking everything and they see everything. I was talking to my wife the other day about a brand of clothing that I bought off the internet. I got to add, I know it's called internet. I got to add on Instagram, and I bought these little clothes and it's just like some little pants or something like that from one of the internet, um, one of the Instagram brands. And they came in and I put the pants on the other day and my wife was like, oh, it look good. I said, yeah, that's the such and such brand. And how about a little while later, she showed me her Facebook and she got an ad on her Facebook from the company I just said to her. She ain't never looked them up, never searched them, none of that. Everything connected. It's all interwoven. So sometimes it literally, if my wife is looking at something, I follow her. She one of four accounts that I follow. So sometimes people show up on my Discover page and it's some type of fashion person. I ain't never looked at this person, never heard of this person. And I said, why this person on my Discover page? And she said, well, I, I follow her and I be liking her pics. I like her pics all the time. I'm like, so maybe because I follow you, now they, they put it on my page. And we don't know how the algorithm work down to a science because they don't want you to know that because then you, you no longer a rat in the maze. So this social media is very real. And as men, you know, we got to grow up. We got to grow up. And stop playing with women mind and stop misleading this woman. Stop giving this woman mixed signals and got this woman feeling crazy and questioning herself because you mentally, you, you messing up her mental by going on here and playing these little chess games with your likes, knowing what you're doing. And the woman picture you keep liking 
either you're cheating with her or you want to cheat with her because you're trying to get her attention. If she look good to you, you know good and well that you could just look at her picture and ain't got to go no further than that. You ain't got to hit no like button, none of that. But you getting ready to go in them DMs. And so because you're getting ready to go in them DMs, you want to get them likes. You want to keep hitting that like so she get ready for you. And the reason I know this real is because I got mentees that are men and some are athlete, pro athletes, some are multi-million dollars, some are businessmen who have met their wife or met the mother of their child from social media, from Instagram. And I got another mentee. I said, well, how you, how you, how y'all met? One of them told me, well, she was, she was watching my stories, but she ain't never say nothing. She was watching my stories. So he seen her in his stories. He went and messaged her. Another guy I was talking to. I said, well, how y'all met? Oh, uh, she liked one of my pictures and I seen her in my notifications. So the woman ain't have to say nothing. She just had to show up in the place. She just had to be seen. And that's what I've been teaching for over a decade now. That a man see everything. He said a man see every woman. If you within 180 degrees of that man I, in real life, he going to see you. If you're on social media and you're in them notifications, you're in them DMs or, or you in the stores, he going to see you. Now, I really, my personally, I'm married. If I was single and I was looking, then I'd be looking to see who looking at my stories. Cause you know, you finna meet a whole, you finna see a whole bunch of people. Then I'd be looking to see who all in the DM. And even being a married man, women come into the DM and, or send, send DMs. Even being a married man. And it might be something that is innocent. It might be completely innocent from the woman. But I don't stop answering DMs. Because even though the DM that I ever DM I don't ever answer is an innocent DM asking a question about business, asking a question about a book, asking a question about life or something like that, I realized that that could be taken the wrong way. That this woman could take that the wrong way and she could think that, oh, you in a DM fishing. So I don't even answer DM unless I know a person personally. Unless I know a person personally, I don't even answer DM no more. Because social media is real. People are losing their jobs off social media. People getting jobs off social media. People making a whole living off social media. If you look, if you're in the sports, I watch uh, one young man make a post on Instagram. And ESPN used the post for like 48 days as if it was a statement that he made at a press conference for all the people. Like, that's how real social media is. Like, they did all this assuming and, oh, he ready to go. He ready to get traded because he made this post. And it's like, that man could have been talking about anything. That man could have been talking about his relationship. Could have been talking about his family. But they equated it to his career as an athlete. Social media is real. And the thing about it is, is it probably happened in both ways. But the way that it always come to me is from a woman talking about her man following half naked women and liking half naked women pictures. And then the man saying, that's not a big deal. And you insecure. OK. All right. <laughs> Let her flip the script. Let her flip the script. And when these men posting eggplant pictures. With the gray sweatpants on, nasty behind, with the shirt off, nasty behind, thirst trapping, with an eggplant out there, let her go start liking them eggplants. And now you telling me as a man, you finna just see that just totally fine. Oh, 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 you like bulges? Oh, you like pictures with bulges? Oh, <laughs> I ain't worried about that. <laughs> what else you want to do with them? You want to go sleep with them? If that's your response, then that ain't your woman. You don't even want that woman. You don't even want that woman. So what you wasting the time for? What you got her for then? Let that woman go and live her life. Like this, this somebody daughter. This somebody daughter, this God daughter. 
Let that woman go on about her business. Is social media so fake to you? And all you want to do is follow half naked women and like booty pictures. Like, what's wrong with you? Come on now, brother. Come on now. Come on now. And when I say brother, I'm talking to Eric. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian, everybody. Come on now. Come on now. You that into perm that you got to be liking half naked booty? Like, come on now. Get yourself together. Like, get yourself together. You got to get some self-control about yourself. You want to make a million? You want to make 10 million? You want to make 100 million? You got to have discipline. If you can't be disciplined enough to where you can't control who you following, to where you that nasty, you that horny, that you got to go on social media to follow women that's just showing booty cheeks all day and be liking pictures all day of a woman all up, bent over, over her infinity pool, on on somebody on somebody island if you want that so bad then let this woman over here go on about her business since you want to be on social media fishing and this the thing man this the thing is like as men we we want to just do whatever we want to do but then want a woman to have guidelines and rules and then want us want to act like that that's cool do you got a daughter? Okay, because a lot of y'all got daughters. I could take that approach if I want to have a double standard because I got sons. So I could be like, yeah, men get to do this right here. And I be hearing guys rap about it. By how they get to do all the cheating in the world and then a woman say one little thing, like she, one little thing even concerning a man. Anything. Like, oh, that was nice of what he did for her. Oh, what you trying to say? He a better man than me? Huh? That ain't what you're trying to say. So, uh, so, all right, so let me get this right here straight. This, that, and third. So, because see, this one, one thing I'm trying to tell you is I'm from the streets. And see, what you just said, and that's how men be acting. The woman just said that was nice what he did for her. That was a nice birthday party, a nice Valentine. One saying nothing else. But we'll get offended. You see, and a lot of times what men don't realize is I'm a man too. And everybody how man, oh you old simp. Oh you old simp. <laughs> All right. All right. Better ask somebody. Better ask somebody. Cause I don't know what the definition what y'all talking about or what that means. Do I treat my woman like a queen? Absolutely. Absolutely do. But what do I come from? A nightmare. You see what I'm saying? And ain't scared of now, man. So if 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 that's if leveling the playing field and removing double standards, the only double standard that I'm really interested in keeping is that a man can have his shirt off in public, bow skin in public, and that a woman should have on her top, her bathing suit top, or what have you. Unless you're in one of them places where everybody just bunt bunky, you know, just out there swinging. But, you know, other than that, that's that's the only logical double standard that I see. If my son's in the pool without their shirt off, I won't want to see my daughter in, no, in nobody's pool with her shirt off. But other than that, it's like if the woman can't do it, then the man shouldn't be able to do it. If you, and if the woman can do it and it still don't make no sense or it's immoral, then it's still wrong. So a lot of times men say, oh, well, I don't care if she sleep with another man. Y'all don't need to be together then. You ain't doing nothing but bacteria swapping nasty behind. Like, go on be single then. It's like if a relationship is for two people to come together and to be together and to support one another, to love one another, and to be exclusive to where... The man make that woman feel like she the only woman in the world. And the woman make that man feel like he the only man in the world. And then y'all have friends, you know, like, and them friends is mutual friends. Them friends is, you approve of this friend. Because this your other half. And if they got friends you don't approve of, then you at danger, you at risk too. You could get caught up too. So listen, this social media is real today and it's costing a lot. It's costing a lot for people and we got to treat it as such.
God bless you.